Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting collab with my friend here on YouTube, Danielle Schmidt. And we've collabed before. I'm totally blanking out. Oh, what did we? We did a tag video, and I will remember to link my collab playlist up in the cards. I have so many playlists on my channel. Anyway, the collab one is fun because I basically put every collab on there. So if you want to see who I've collabed with in the last year, it's pretty exciting. I've definitely been able to do a few more collabs this year. And it's so cool to just make friends here on YouTube. And Danielle is one of the first friends I made here on YouTube and she's amazing. And so she's been doing this series called Face Off. And I watched her one with Georgia Harris, I believe, and I was like, well, I want to be on Face Off. Like, hello. <laughs> so we talked on the internet, on Instagram, and she asked me which palette, and then we decided we were going to do the Too Faced Gingerbread palette. And I don't think I've actually featured this on my channel, except maybe hauling it, but I have been using it here and there a little bit, and it smells so delicious and it's like one of the first Too Faced palettes I've picked up in a long long time so let me tell you guys what shades we ended up picking okay so Danielle did put the numbers into like a num random number generator and we picked out some shades so I've swatched the first three here the first bright pink is called Gumdrop then we picked out Looky at My Cookie and Oh Snap which is like those are pretty light on my skin tone, and then we picked Sugar Daddy, or the number generator, I don't know why I keep saying we. There's Sugar Daddy, and then the last shade, which is hopefully going to be my saving grace, is Spice Rum, which is like a taupey brown shade. So that's the color palette we're working with. We picked out five shades, and I'm a little bit worried, guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be, it's gonna be something. So, let's go ahead and get into the look. Okay, I'm ready. I have to show you guys what came in the mail um, last night. Who asked for this? <laughs> it's my little Angelica mug. She is, I don't know if she is like selling merch, but I, I think she just did it for fun. But she does have some cute stuff. So if you guys are Angelica fans, you probably want to go check that out or you already probably have. The plan I made in my head based off of these shades was to just buff the light shades <laughs> into my brow bone or not into my brow bone, but into my crease, and then just kind of wing it. So I feel like I should go in with reindeer paws. Now, I didn't ask Danielle if the rule was that I had to use every shade. It's probably something I need to do, huh? So I'm just taking O Snap and just applying it very messily into my crease. And I have used this palette a few times. I actually started out really liking this palette, but the more I've used it, it's not really like my favorite palette. It's okay, but I don't know. I feel like they could have done better with the shimmer shades. A lot of them are very muted. And once you put, on the, put them on the eye, I feel like they're muddy and I don't think they foil that great either. So it's really not that great of a palette from Too Faced. If you've been contemplating buying this, I don't think it's like an essential. Obviously, if you're like a makeup collector or like a Too Faced collector and you love it, like do you. But I'm just saying from my opinion, it's not as amazing as I had hoped it would be. Okay, and I'm just putting in some looky, looky at my cookie just to, I don't know, just to use it, I guess. Mm hmm Okay, and then let's do Sugar Daddy on the brow bone. See, I don't, I didn't want to use this on my brow bone because I feel like it's too pink, but... Oh god, that looks so weird. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> so after this, I am actually going to meet up with one of our family friends. Her name is Jen. She's actually Rail's old neighbor. And she, we call her like our fairy godmother in Fargo. She's not related to either of us, but she's about 70 something. And she's the coolest lady I know. You guys should see her apartment. Oh my gosh, it's like all black and white and red. Like that's her theme. She loves the color red. And she's just like the coolest lady I've ever met. So she is 
treating me for my birthday. She's taking me shopping, which is so sweet. You know, <laughs> it's really, really sweet. And yeah, I'm excited. So I feel like, she, you know, I want to make a look for her that she would appreciate. She always loves like, you know, she's just a sweet lady. She's always like, oh, you look so cute. Oh, I love that. Like she's very into like fashion and like hanging out with the kids. So anyway, there is Definitely some fallout over here. I'm gonna deal with that later. I'm gonna go in with gumdrop. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry, Danielle. I feel like I'm letting you down with this look because it's not very exciting. And Danielle's like really into colorful looks, so I'm excited to see what she does. But this is the only plan I have, and I would be very surprised if we do different looks. Obviously, it'll look different because we have different skin tones. But you guys like. This color palette, I'm not saying there's like nothing you could do with it, but it's pretty freaking limited. <laughs> okay, I do love pinks in my crease, so I'm going a little ham here. And I'm using a Morphe R39, and I just use the same brush for every shade that I put in the crease. Obviously, I started off with the lightest shade. And then work my way up to the darker shade. Okay, so let me just dust off some of this fallout. I've been using the Morphe G5 under eye setting powder needs. So there's that. And then I gotta use the last shade, which is Spiced Rum, which I said was like that taupey color. And I'm gonna foil. So I like to use a flat shade brush for that and try to use up the Sephora Rose Hydrating Mist. And I asked you guys in one of my videos if you spray the brush first and then grab the eyeshadow or if you um, grab the eyeshadow first and spray the brush. And a lot of you said to spray the shadow after you dip it, dip the brush in to avoid contamination. And so I've been trying to remember to do that because that does make sense. It sounds like a sensible thing to do. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. So thank you for leaving that advice for me in whichever video it was that I asked you guys about that. Might have been my melt video, I think. Yeah, see, I, this color, not that vibrant. I'm just, I don't know. I'm like still debating if I should return this palette or not because I honestly don't see myself using this long term. Like, it's so cute and I'm glad I bought it because it's like a holiday, it's like a true holiday palette. But I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna have some Too Faced stands like upset with me in the comments. But I mean, that's about as good as I can get with this. I could use my fingers. But honestly, guys, I hate, no, I don't hate, hate is a strong word. I dislike very much using my fingers to do my makeup. So I try to avoid that. But I think since Danielle loves glitter, and I love glitter, I'm gonna go off camera, finish up this eye look, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, here is the finished look. Of course, I put some bronzer on, some blush on, some highlight. I also decided to kind of amp this look up a little bit. I hope Daniel won't mind. I did use some Urban Decay glitter. This is the heavy metal in the shade volume. I just got this, so I picked up that little Urban Decay set. And here are the shades I used. I did use all the shades on my eyes, even though you probably won't be able to tell and the palette we used is the gingerbread palette by Too Faced. So I hope you guys enjoyed this face off. Danielle, thank you so much for collabing with me. You are such a sweetheart. If you guys haven't checked out her channel yet, go ahead and do that. I will leave all her information in the description box and I'll try and remember to put her information up in the cards as well. I believe she uploads every day. I can't remember if she still does or not, but at one point she was uploading every day. And I also believe in 2019 she's got a low buy going on, so if you guys are interested in that content, definitely go ahead and subscribe to her channel as well. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!